Good morning, everybody. I'm going to get overly excited, but I'll do present email goal. As you can see, Einstein's up as soon as I've opened the door as usual. But I cleaned them all out yesterday. And you can't really see it, but she seems to have made herself a perfect little mess. And she's not got up yet. She's actually... Normally at the door by now. Oh, she's getting up. Okay. I'm going to keep her in today. Keep an eye on her. She's got up now. Good morning, darling. She is very, very pregnant. Trousers, you. Oh, goodbye. All right, Tommy. I can't leave you out, can we? Obviously. Eh? Oh, you do need a good scrub today, don't you? Eh? Oh. Good. I want to keep my trousers. <laughs> no joke there. Okay. I'll be your personal scratch stick. She had this morning. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna leave you in, girl. I'm not gonna let you out. Oh, she's definitely made herself a bit of a bit. Will you stop eating my trousers, Einstein. Stop eating my clothes. Out then. Yeah. Come on, man. You're not eating our straw, though. When she comes. I'm gonna close her door because the other two are always in there eating all the bedding. Aren't you? So I was nearly excited, but. But she did go to a hay bag and didn't eat anything, so normally... Einstein. So yeah, I'll just keep an eye on her today. But she's very fat. Well, pregnant. And Tilly's coming along as well now. And then there's Einstein. Boy, aren't you? Yeah, it's been really hard to kind of know when she's birthing because we've had her now five months. Six, no, just coming up six months. When we got her, the owner said, Oh, she was already pregnant. So that's what you kind of go off. I haven't seen Einstein and her mate since they got here. So I just presume she was pregnant, but obviously she's not because the gestation period's five months and we've had her, like I've just said, for six. So. Unless she's just got wind. So, what do you reckon, Einstein? Do you reckon you're the dad? You'd be very beautiful if you are. <clears throat> Good girls. Stop eating my jacket. He does this for attention. <laughs> Stop eating my jacket. <laughs> He's a beautiful boy. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. He is. Wow. Let me 
kiss. <laughs> How can you not love him? Well, all of you, you're very cute, aren't you? But you are a very handsome boy. It's good. I've got, I really want to, I've got a friend coming. She's going to help me harness train him, hopefully. Because I would like to show Einstein. Here she comes. Oh, she's a big girl. Oof. She's massive. I've been and checked on the pigs. The Anglo Nubians are out. Sheep are over there. I don't know if you can see it actually. Uh, on the right. Oh, there is a brick building. So we've made a ramp and there's quite a nice big room in there because we were going to build another shed for the sheep to lamb in. But that's perfect. So I'm trying to feed them down there. Fred came in straight away obviously because there was food involved but the other ewes weren't quite so convinced. Normally when they see me doing something different it's something medical so <laughs> as silly as sheep are they're not that silly. Good girls and boys. See, do I let you out again? Because I let, did let them out yesterday. I had serious words that they weren't allowed to escape, and obviously Einstein escaped. There he is. You can come out for a bit, but you've got to behave. But she's all very such a beautiful boy. That's... He's getting a. Um, his beard now. It's well cute. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't actually skip fences, but it's far easier than walking all the way around. Here he is, beautiful boy. And yeah, there's a beautiful boy. Where's Honey? There she is. It's very grey today. I'm hoping it's not going to rain. Right, darling. She's a big girl. Let's have a look at this uh, estuary. It's getting really high. This is where we back on, obviously. You can't, you can't whinge where we live here. I have to say, it is beautiful. Uh, oh, we've got ducks this morning. Oh, and an egret. Oh, and ducks. There they go. Oh, sorry, I've spooked them. Are we coming in or are we going out? Oh, we're going out. Oh, beautiful. It wasn't so cold, I'm struggling that. Oh, that was cool. So I've come over to see the girls. Because they heard me, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, they were gorgeous. Beautiful girls. They do an excellent job here, as you can see. Cannot believe the bulldozing through the brambles. I didn't actually think they do that. Uh oh. Oh, the battery's dead. Oh, no. a bit wet again, but they're coming into season, so they've been a bit feisty over the last few days. And I always get worried that they've lost weight and then I think, oh, hold on, they've come into season again. I don't know what that's about. We feed them. Uh, we'll eat, well, they have three and a half kilos per pig a day. Don't you? Hey, you me? Hey. Are you telling me? Right, you're going to go back to work? Yeah, they're doing a wicked job here. Yeah. Scritching a scratch in the morning. Don't you? Yeah, you were standing as well, weren't you? See, when they stand, they're standing. So that's. Yeah, they're swollen on the back end, so. Oh, mud. These are our beautiful hens and goosey. I hatched these myself. The girls have just started laying eggs and they're very friendly. 
Good morning. She knows we've got breakfast. Here they come. We are moving them onto the proper field eventually. <laughs> Good morning. Where's Egghead? Good morning, Goosey. What's your dinner? Oh, God. I have to feed the girls in a different place because Goosey eats it otherwise. Once you do this every day, it's always like something new to them. Just show your egg head. Yeah, she's in the nest. She's started laying now. Oh, I need to do your water. So this is where we put them at night. We've got loads of buzzards, so the cage that we're going to do for them will be enclosed. <laughs> and our girls come up for a stroke. Very tame. Yeah. Very tame. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And you are goosey. So yeah, so there are girls, aren't they? Look. You on telly? Yeah. She's a beautiful girl. <laughs> yeah, they're very tame. Right. She's concentrating big time. Just show you my head. She's tired. So yeah, so there's the girls. There's Goosey. He's a gander. Right, that's them fed. We don't just have farm animals, do we? This is Thumper. He's a beautiful boy. He's lovely. Um, Thumper was nine weeks old when we got him. He's a very gentle boy. But it is completely on his own terms whether he lets you stroke him or not. He's gone. And we have Sora. Where are you, Kiku? Kiku and Kiku. There's Kiku. Hello, Kiku. We only keep him in in the morning, and then in the afternoon they have the full day out the cage because I hate birds being caged. But when I'm checking all the animals and doing all the morning feeding, I don't want them flying around on their own unattended because you do get into mischief don't you we got kiku first they're completely tame they're absolutely beautiful birds i don't know if you've ever had a kakariki but i've had all kinds of birds but these oh they're just so tame they're beautiful very chatty so yeah so that's nearly everybody i've just got two more people to show you and that's all the animals good girl two are Daisy, Daisy Dalmatian, who's crazy, and Bertie. Bertie is a beautiful boy and he's ball crazy. Daisy's the most beautiful Dalmatian I've ever seen in my life, but oh, if you've got a Dalmatian, crazy dogs. Crazy dogs. Bertie's ball mad, he's part husky. Oh, they're very beautiful. They're not my dogs, they're my friends, but we take them for walks, don't we? Every night. I'm down to the estuary when there's nobody about because Daisy just does her own thing and gets herself into trouble quite often. Bertie's a brilliant, gentle boy. There we go, there he is with his ball. He walks around normally with two balls in his mouth. He gives you one to kick for him. <sighs> don't you? Where's your ball? I bet you lost, are not you? Yes, Daisy. Good morning. Hello. Oh. So, yeah. Get down. See what I mean? It, I can't tell you about trade. Sit. We have to do with her and be so strict. Because she's very strong. 
she's very stubborn, very intelligent, but yeah, beautiful. And dirt is beautiful as well. So yeah, that's everybody. Everybody. first shepherd's hut. So that's the back door with the window. That's the finish of it. It's beautiful wood. Douglas fir, heartwood. These are going to have two long windows in this side. The boys are installing guttering. That's one wall done at the back. That boy's right again. The door's right there. And they're just yeah. building a gutter. So and I'm trying my best to film out. it all. I've got about 40 hours of footage to go through, but there, just sort of, yeah, there we go.